meine Damen und Herren, hier ist der Chefdirigent. Ladies and Gentlemen, wie damals wir sie meine Damen und Herren, Senores und Senoras, guten Abend, good evening, buenas era, buenas noches, konnichiwa, xin ciao, ni au an yong yo estet kivanok, gut quelt, good afton, dobre witze, dobre witze, grüß Gott and grüß sie wohl, here we go, this is the first game in this wonderful TVZ series, it is Fury against Lowly, so we have Fury here on the ID forever right now, spawning at the top right position, which is the three o'clock on Lost Temple. Meanwhile, we have Lowly as the yellow Zerg uh, from White Russia, from Belarus, at the 12 o'clock position. So they're spawning close positions by her. It is still the old Lost Temple, not the new Lost Temple, which is called the Shattered Temple, something like this, without those high grounds, um, cliffs at the natural, for example, which makes this map a little bit more enjoyable for the Zerg race. And um, so we got a ZVT here on Lost Temple, two guys from Europe on the US service playing against each other, and lowly. Um, recently I cast more and more of his games um, and he was able to show us some really really entertaining games for example yesterday as I was casting the craft cup number 32 uh, we were able to see some pretty pretty nice games of him and he likes to be aggressive and um, he likes to take all the time he's got a very good uh, multitasking um, He's aware of what's going on in the map, pays a lot of attention to the mini-map, controlling his muters, meanwhile macroing in his base. He was it's not, for example, like Death Angel, who's got an entertaining style as well, but for example, Death Angel most of the time tries to stay on two bases and just get out a shitload of zerglings, a lot of units of any sort, and go for mass attacks. But lowly, he is uh, even a step ahead of uh, Death Angel regarding the zerg play, because he is able to be aggressive, very aggressive, and able to macro at the same time. So I'm really, really curious if um, he's doing exactly that as well. On the other hand, Fury is known for being an aggressive player. He's well, he does not like to expand. He's got quite a reputation of being some sort of uh, a one base, maximum two base a Terran player. But um, as I was talking to him a bit, um, he told me, okay, he knows about this reputation. And then he was getting a little bit angry, and then he played a game on Zelnaga Caverns a couple of months ago, like two months ago, and then he just went for five bases before he did a single attack and just out macroed his Zerg opponent in every possible way. So, and then he just told me, okay, now tell everybody on the stream right now, oh, um, he does... He can do better, he can not do better, he can do uh, a lot of strategies, but he simply uh, does not want to. He thinks um, going for this kind of playstyle he's doing right now is uh, simply more effective. So he wants to go for a bunker here in the back of the mineral line, and the SCV goes down before the bunker was finished. We should have a Reaper pretty soon here in the mineral line of Lowly, but the cream just came out in time, and will he go for a surround? Yes, he went for a surround, but he was not able to be successful with it. What about this bunker? This bunker, of course, is not yet just finished. And the first thing um, Lowly needs to do is to place some creep tumors. He needs to connect base number one and base number two. And that's why he's spitting out those creep tumors with the creams, uh, creams right away. Second uh, Reaper is meanwhile up here uh, for Fury, having one Reaper in the main base, having one Reaper at the natural but the queen is already waiting taking out the first reaper and he is still the second reaper it's a three kills how much damage will he be able to do with this second reaper and looks like the reaper does not yet go down but the queen is waiting here on the low ground um killing uh, this a uh, reaper and um forcing a cancel on this uh, bunker here so lowly was able to take uh, to survive uh, this uh, bunker rush reaper attempt here by fury and what does fury do he decides okay 
I will go for a command center out of uh, this uh, one barracks, but it's not directly one barracks into command center because yes, he built a double star ports now going for a factory, and uh, with this uh, factory he will provide us a, um, a reactor. So one. Starport is landing directly next to this tech lab, and will he wait for the second uh, with the second starport until uh, this reactor is finished or not? And looks like he does lifting up this uh, starport uh, right away. Meanwhile, what's up with those two overlords? Not doing anything too special. Uh, this uh, bailing nest will be finished for. Uh, lowly in about uh, two seconds absolutely same goes here for the layer so uh, he's got the bailing nest finished he's got the layer finished he's still only mining gas from two extractors at the moment and uh, what is a fury going for um he's having a banshee being produced and he's still continuing to fly around with this building so he, he went for some sort of um, interesting uh, strategy because at the f at first um, he had still this uh, barracks he had the tech lab but now he decided to go for the double starport banshee and lifting up this starport flying over this uh, factory building this reactor then the factory uh, was lifted up once again then he decided to land this once again now the bailing bust oh I was sorry um, but this is no problem because we just take look at this bailing bus once again Here's, here are the bailings and bailings now moving up the ramp uh, marines did some damage a nice decision to go with the bailings here at the left side taking out the supply depot and taking out two of those um, bailings right away but with this banshee already being out of course he can deal with the remaining bailings and circlings with no problem at all meanwhile the banshees are not yet in the base here of lowly lowly just decided to go for a spire continuing with the love spread here at the left side at the right side as well and because he needs to stay with his banshees in the base because lowly is just being aggressive he's just continuing uh, with the uh, banlings right now but he's going for the banlings out of two bases he's got a late game plan even going for another extractor so um, if this banling attack will not succeed don't expect um, a GG right away because he's got a plan um, he's like the silence in Battlestar Galactica even though he's a Zerk and not a Protoss player. <laughs> even though it doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, so um, now he's in with his Zerklings here. Uh, the second attempt was a little bit more successful on the other hand. Um, Fury is just with his Banshees in the base of Lowly right now. He was even um, taking, uh, able to take out uh, this Aspire. So now this looks l to me like some sort of base race. What about some Spore Crawlers? Yes, Lowly finished with the four Spore Crawlers. It is natural. Meanwhile, those four Banshees can deal so much damage not only to the Spire, but to the Spawning Pool, to the Banding's Nest, and even to the Lair. Meanwhile, all those Zerklings in his main base are dead. Looks like those two Hellions and a couple of Marines were successful and looks like another thing uh, uh, another interesting thing is coming up right away he wants to do uh, go for a more secure wall off with this orbital command because uh, the only thing even better as an orbital command um, going for a wall of edit as a Terran player is the planetary fortress because the planetary fortress got uh, an additional uh, two armor so three armor instead of just one but he's still flying around with his banshees and looks like he wants to get uh, rid of the uh, spore quarters right now just uh, f trying to force his way to victory here meanwhile Lodi decided to go for another spire and this is not a spore quarter this is a spire this spire uh, was cancelled in the last second and what will Lowly do? Will he go for another Spire? Will he GG out of the game? Or does he have some any kind of tricks up his sleeve? Now this um, Spark Water is trying to do much damage, uh, more damage. Uh, another uh, bench is going down, meanwhile the Queen is uh, going down as well. He won the Queen, of course, wanted to lure the Banshees to the range of the Spore Quarters, but uh, Fury with the uh, five Banshees in total now taking out the lair, take, already taking out the spawning pool. And now there goes the Banelink's Nest, and uh, I think uh, Fury is in a good position because the only ground units or anti-ground units building slowly is currently having are those Spine Crawlers, because yes, yeah, the complete base of a Fury is uh, currently safe. Taking a look at the unit counting station, it Lowly is only having 16 rounds and that's about it. So this abandoning bus was really successful the second run. On the other hand, those benches were
were even more successful for Fury and Fury will take game number one of uh, Lodi here right now so he just needs to win one more game to advance to the quarterfinals on the other hand Lodi in a little bit of trouble needs to win at least two more games and there we see the GG so congratulations to Fury for winning game number one so game number two coming up in one minute